This person asks, I often intellectually know what the underlying causal emotion or issue is, but I find it difficult to feel the emotion. How do I experience the deep emotion that needs to be accessed? Well, firstly, this statement uh, that you often intellectually know what the underlying causal emotion is, to me, is also uh, a bit of an intellectual tomfoolery that we play with ourselves. And most of the time you don't know, to be honest. And it's only when you actually feel an emotion that most of the time you know what its cause is. Mm. So any person who believes they intellectually know what their emotions are but they're not feeling them, it's highly unlikely they actually do intellectually know what their emotions are. Yeah. And it's, even if they do intellectually know what their emotions are, that, that will not necessarily help you to feel it. So, so you might as well give up the whole process of trying to intellectually know anything and even stop telling yourself that you intellectually know things. You see, everything your mind processes comes from your soul anyway. And if your soul hasn't released a specific emotion yet, then you don't know it either at your soul level or, or intellectually. Yeah. So it's pointless telling yourself that you do. Oftentimes we want to tell ourselves that we do because we're addicted to the concept that we know. We, we want, we, we, and in fact we use knowledge as a way of allaying fear. Mm. So we try to tell ourselves, oh, I, I don't have to be so afraid of that now that I know something about it. And that's where our problems all start. And in fact, the whole reason why we're not feeling underlying causal emotions is generally, as we've already explained in other FAQs on this emotional subject, and that is generally we are either in denial, we are in addiction, or we're terrified. <laughs> we're afraid. It, it's usually one of those three reasons. Now, obviously, we need to go down through those particular processes. And if a person looks at, I think it was the previous FAQ I answered, FAQ uh, on, in this session, yep. they will have the answer of how to go down through all of those emotions. Sure. So I feel in this person's case, they need to firstly stop telling themselves that they intellectually know things. You don't know anything until you process through it emotionally. Until then, you're just regurgitating memories or, or you could say words that have been spoken to you. You don't really know much more than that at that mm. point. And it can even just be a theoretical idea, can't it? Of I, I feel like, oh, I think it's probably this because of these factors, yes. but there's been no feeling no. involved in establishing that theory, really. Of course, and also the problem with trying to do this, the problem with intellectually knowing something, causes you to try to access an emotion that often is not present mm. or often has layers of other emotions on top of it that you first need to feel. As if so, for example, a lot of people have a lot of rage which they don't wish to acknowledge. They feel embarrassed about acknowledging it or they feel uh, that they shouldn't have it or, and they have lots of other judgments about the anger that they have within them. And so what they do is they tell themselves they don't have any anger, right? Mm -hmm. And the same applies with many of their addictions. Like most people have huge amounts of addictions in play in their day-to-day -day life, all suppressing certain fears and certain grief. Yeah. But, but what they tell themselves is they don't have those addictions. It's not an addiction that caused them to do this today or yesterday or, or you know, caused them to eat this food or caused them to go and do this thing with another person. They tell themselves it was a pure desire. So they're always trying to feed intellectually. You're always trying to feed yourself validation of why your soul wishes to hang on to its suppression and its resistance. Yeah. So the problem with any intellectual processing if it's not, it is that it's tainted with a lack of logic most of the time until you process through the emotion. Yeah. And, and while it's tainted with a lack of logic, you can guess that you have certain causal emotions or you can assume that because certain events happen to you, you must have certain emotions. But that doesn't help you actually get into the emotions. What's going to help you is to be far more honest about the suppression and the resistance that you have and then allow yourself to go through the rage first, the anger that you have, down into your, which, which comes from your addictions not getting met, down into the addictions, the expectations and demands that you have that you would like to have met, and then through them into the actual fears that you actually have that, that, that are, are 
often suppress the grief. Mm -hmm. so, so what we need to do is go through that particular process. Now, the, the average person doesn't want to go through that process. They want to go, in, in most women's cases, they would like to go from where they are now right to the grief without, and, and skip the fact that they're angry and skip the fact that they've got addictions and definitely, for most women, skip the fact that they have no fear. That they, like have, they, have, they think they, they want to have no fear, yeah. they want to, they, they, but they have lots of fear, lots of terror to feel, and most women don't want to feel that. Mm -hmm. In the case of men, oftentimes they will allow themselves to experience some anger because it, it's a bit more socially acceptable for a man to express anger. Um, and so usually men are in less denial of their anger, but, but, but fear is a very weak place for most men to go to. They don't feel that they, they can go there. And for most men, sadness is the worst possible place for them to go. So, of course, they don't really want to go there. Yeah. So most men cycle between the stages of anger and addiction. Mm -hmm. And most women cycle between the stages of suppression of anger and addiction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and unfortunately, that means that the majority of people do not know emotionally or intellectually what's really a causal emotion that they need to express in order to release themselves from their current condition. Yeah. And the only way you're going to know is by going down through that process. And most of us want to skip that process. And so most of us guess using our intellect and our guesses are often very, very wrong. So we often receive emails, as you know, that where people say, oh, I feel it's about a low sense of worth, and we're going, no, it's not about a low sense of worth at all. In fact, you believe that you, you arrogantly think that you're better than other people, you know? So, you know, there's, there's so many things that people say to us from an intellectual concept of what they think it is, and you can feel from them that it's totally different to what they're saying. Even sometimes if that might be the causal emotion that resides within them, there is still the issue that in avoidance of that, in their addiction, they behave very arrogantly. Yes. And, and if they try to skip to feeling the low sense of worth that may or may not be there without first dealing with their arrogance. unloving and yeah. addictive behaviour ar in arrogance, yeah. then it's not going to work, is it? No, no. They've got, to, they've got to see things, you know, like, and you've got to go through the seeing of things in order for it to be a sincere process. You can't expect to just jump to an emotion that you would like it to be. And what we find is most people would like their emotions to be a certain way and their true emotions are very, very different to what they would like their emotions to be. If you are truly honest with this process, you are most of the time going to be quite surprised when, it get, when you get to the actual emotion, the actual causal emotion as to what it really was or what it really is. And the reason why that is the case is because your soul up until that time is in suppression or denial mm -hmm. or resistance to processing that particular emotion. And so everything coming into your mind, unless it's a thought dropped to you from your spirit friends or somebody else, someone outside of you, everything coming into your mind that's from your own thoughts and from your own feelings is going to be tainted with your resistance and suppression. Yeah. So it's going to be an excuse to suppress you from other things. And this is why most people who say that they know what their causal emotion is but they're not feeling it, they don't even know what their causal emotion is most of the time. Uh -huh. And this is the reason why they're not feeling it because they don't know what it is. Uh, if they knew what it is and they were allowing the experience of it, they'd probably get there. Now, the second part of the question is, if you do actually know uh -huh. <laughs> what your causal emotion is, which is possible yeah. in, to intellectually sort of have a good idea what it might be, and you're not experiencing, experiencing the emotion, then obviously we need to look at the first three things, anger, addiction, and fear. It's got to be one of those three things blocking the flow of that emotion. Mm -hmm. And this is where most people really struggle. They don't want to acknowledge they're angry. They don't want to acknowledge they're afraid. And most of the time they like their addictions because their addictions give them everything they want and they want to keep them. Yeah. And so for that reason, the majority of people, even if they do come to know intellectually what their causal emotion is, probably won't process it unless they go through the processing of the resistive emotions and the suppressive emotions, which are all related to anger, fear, uh, addictions and fear. Mm -hmm. and, and this is where we need to allow ourselves to go. And, th and because it, anger, addictions and fear are generally unpleasant to acknowledge within us, a lot of them feel quite sleazy in terms of emotionally 
so, so they feel quite shameful to experience. And we often don't want to go there either, and this is why we become blocked. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So my suggestion to a person in this kind of situation is to first stop trying to use their intellect to find what the emotion is and instead use their intellect to find what the block is. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, you know, what's going on, what anger is in them, what addictions are in them and what fears they have and start to acknowledge those particular emotions because unless they acknowledge those emotions and go through the process of feeling those emotions and, and are ready to, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. through the exercise of their will, desire to feel those emotions, they will never get to know what their causal emotions are. So if you're saying if we're not feeling our causal emotions, we could be guessing wrong. <laughs> well, but... that, most likely we're guessing wrong, I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. And if on the off chance that we're not, <laughs> we're still not going through our fear, our anger, our addictions and our fear. Because once we do that, our causal emotion will flow from us naturally. Easily, like a child. Yeah. It, once you go through and release the blockages from you, the causal emotion just flows out of you, you know, without any, attempt, without any even need to access it intellectually. Yeah. It, and a situation comes up and because you're humble to your emotion now and you're humble to what the experience is and you don't worry so much about what everybody thinks of you, you just go straight into your emotion. You, you, don't, you don't have to think about it, you don't have to worry about it and you don't have to work it all out or any of those kind of things. And if you have to do all of those things, you are in a lot of fear. Mm -hmm. and, and in fact, you are doing those things to avoid the feeling of your fears. Mm -hmm. And you are doing those things to avoid the work needed to be done in fear, um, addiction and anger, yeah. which are the main reasons why you block any emotion that's causal. Mm. Great. All right.